Hey guys and welcome to my let's play of Europa and Azalis 4 Conquest of Paradise and this is a brand new DLC from Paradox Interactive and well let's jump right in. I will start at the year 1444 and of course you will play as one of the tribes in the new world and we will play on the brand new random new world which means well we can still select a guy from these but the map will look completely different It'll be just maybe a couple of islands, maybe a couple of big islands like the Greenland or maybe one huge blob. Well, we don't really know. It's like Civilization V, but only this piece. The Europe, Africa, Asia, everything else, even Australia will still be the same as before. And I want to show you guys the, the mechanic of the migration. And so I will pick up one, uh, one province. <laughs> Piece, even though they don't have like the fancy own uh, ideas like the Shawnee and uh, Creek and Huron like when you get there it's like centuries later after the start of the game and this may be just a little bit of a preview of what you can really do and also I will make another let's play with Bohemia as I have the blob prepared in the Crusader Kings 2 so who should we play? Siux? sound like something I can like I understand and I can pronounce <laughs> so I think I will go with them uh, Comanche maybe that sounds awesome as well they also don't have their own sets, set of ideas even Pueblo Apache yeah that's what I should play they, again, even though these are like well-known tribes, they don't have their own ideas, but the map will be generated anyway, so like the missions, the special missions shouldn't really work that well, like Apache having some weird claim on Navajo or something like that. So, I will hope that I will only have one province, because this is also generated. Uh, I like test plate, and as Iroquois I had only three, even though you see they have four clearly on the on the old old new world so let's start the game right now and I will talk about all the stuff I talked already about in the preview of the patch notes so we can see it finally in the game the DLC was released just a few hours ago I tried a couple of short let's plays especially to figure out if it's stable and oh <laughs> wow <laughs> okay <laughs> This is about as weird new world as you can get. Wow, who are we? Okay, we are with Navajo. Mandan on one island. Maybe it's connected actually down here. It looks like there is another land over there. And there are two more islands up there. And there is another huge over there. This is... See, this isn't really the new world as you know it. <laughs> and there is like... I feel like this is too spread out. Like... Like Asia is like right over there and Europe should be right over there, like really close to wherever this goes. So we'll see. We'll see how this will go. I will also play on really high speed. But first let's take a look at some of the novelties. We have a nice, nice symbol. This is this is beautiful. Yes. It's like yeah, it's teepees all around creating a sun. That's that's just fancy. And we don't have that great of a like a chief but eh, it's not that bad diplomacy like I will talk about this a little bit later I am chief Dalshai Kalanas and I remember from uh, like playing for five minutes before the game game crashed playing the Iroquois see they have only five only three provinces and they I think have a chief or a great paw or something like that funny like that and this is another new thing it doesn't really work with our own chief because well I guess it does. Personality administrator. So that's why he has this huge diplomatic skill, I guess. And well, I can't really afford anything. I'm gaining 19 like cents <laughs> per month, I think. So I can't hire any advisors. This is pretty good, I have to say. And you this is another new thing. Before, you know, not only you have like a huge penalty on the research. As you can see, it's 250%, which makes this unfeasible, basically. But also, you had a penalty on all these powers, but right now it's no longer there. At least I think there was a penalty for that. Uh, so, let's see, okay. 
Uh, income, yeah, it's just all the same. I already talked about this insane, insane difficulty of research. The native ideas are for most of our, these guys. I think Mandan is the same ones, but uh, some of these others like Iroki uh, don't. But yeah, they are just fine and we will get there like in a century or two, if we get there ever. Uh, so the missions look also fairly generic as well. Yeah, vision quests. Um, some of them, some of them sound a little bit different. Uh, stability boost. Everything should be fine. Yes, and we are Totemis, which is a new religion in uh, in the DLC. I'm not sure. I think it's maybe even in the patch alone. Like most of the stuff, actually, you can get for free just by patching the game or waiting for it to patch on Steam. Torrents, torrents of heretics. See, uh, I think we used to be uh, animists or shamanists before this patch. Uh, Retar is the same. This is a new tab, natives. And this brings a bunch of new ideas, which we can pick up, because like we will, well, we will get there eventually, but this is really far away. Like, can you imagine how long will take, it will take to take uh, like four levels of administrative power at 2000 piece? <laughs> So they are introduced. They introduce these. These are ideas. They are not technology improvements directly, but they like mimic the ideas you get over there as well. In the in the regular ones, like look at migrate migrative traditions. It's minus twenty percent build cost, and if you remember, this is the same as economic ideas, organized construction, which is actually the second tier of this. And the other thing is you can pick any one of those. This is not like the other ideas, where you have to go one by one. You can even grab the last one right off the bat. And this is the new thingy, migration, which will slowly fill up and then we can basically just move from Omaha to Dakota and then to Kansas, for example. Or maybe even crawl through this strait and go on this bigger island. Maybe there, is, uh, there should be nobody actually there. So this may be an ample opportunity to use the colonization, because you can colonize almost right off the bat, unlike the European countries, which have to, uh, maybe this is the shorter way, <laughs> which have to, like, uh, uh, research this technology really far, like, so, yeah, and you can then take these, like, like colonies. So, yeah, this is, I think, almost everything new that's in the game right off the bat, and as I said, let's check, out, check this out, there's another thing you can do, they like us. Yeah, I don't have the casus belly on them, but there should be a new way, new casus belly, which is called uh, the humiliate. Yes, which is not actually like uh, insult. It's a casus belly, which is kind of weird. But we can't really do anything right now. So yeah, it is another thing. There is a lot of stuff, guys. So another thing, of course, is the buildings because, like, if we have nothing researched, but all of these are special for the native tribes and they are kind of cheap and they have awesome, awesome effects. Like, look at irrigation, 25% local tax modifier, which is brilliant, or the ceremonial fire pit, which lowers the cost of advi advisors by 50%. That's that's just awesome. And there's a lot of these unique buildings, like. Fortified house, land force limits plus 10. Right now we have only 4. This single building increases your land force limit by 10 to 14. And then you can go on on um, rampage. But I think we will still need the money to support the army. So I think I will go with another 25%. This is an increase in efficiency like nowhere else. I, irrigation, I think, will go. Yes, there is also a... Uh, longhouse, which is one like one gold coin flat, but this is more. So yeah, it's and it costs the yeah. It increases this by like <laughs> literally twenty five percent because we have only one province, and now let's speed it up. There will be a couple of event, I presume. Maybe we can ally. Oh, fish is okay. That's not particularly great. Improvements in government technology. Like this will bump me like, kind of fast, but I don't. I'm not sure if I want that inflation. Hmm. It takes 75 to lower it by two, I think. So this may be worth it, actually. Spare no expense. Yes, let's waste our money 
on the government. We can even hire a general, but I don't want to waste this. So I think I will grab for my army and uh, the leash, or rather the king, the ruler. He, he could be much better, but well, yeah, it's me. It's me leading the forces. Great diplomacy, so you'll get to the colonialism really quickly. Oh, I missed my opportunity. Do you remember? They were like like happy with us, but right now they are not. So we can't really do anything. Let's continue at the super speed. We can't literally do anything, guys, right now. We can build stuff, but only one at a time. And we are building it, so... <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, about building the army up a little bit before they attack. A horsey, for example. Hmm. Eh. Uh, I don't think we need them very all right of the bat. Okay, it's already one year, I think. Fifty days. And then I think I will build the longhouse. Even though it's like more expensive, I think. It's... Yeah, we need all the income we can get. Still not that big of a difference. Oh yes, that's right. It's only a percentage of that, so... Yeah. Three sisters field. Should I go for the longhouse? Hmm... Fort level. Local offensiveness. I think I will go for the longhouse. It's it's ten administrative power as well, so keep this in mind. But it's luckily only one guy. We also have a port. Not sure how good ships we do have. We I don't think we can build any any ships actually. Yeah, no naval units. They have like canoes, right? Nothing really that can cross even this strait. And we are just basically waiting uh, for any of these ideas to fill up. They built up their army. I hope they are not going after us. Border friction, yeah, rivalry. I think they allied with each other. No. Apaches. They have no allies. They have no allies either. And then uh, they rivaled both of us? Yes. I think I could gang up with Mandan. Or no, it's Pima. So, yeah, I have no castles but anyway on them. So I will try and improve relations with them. I have two diplomats, so I can as well just use one of them. I have two merchants, but there's like no node I can really use. So that's kind of moot point. Yeah. Trade node is not discovered. What can be? It's like California, but California in this. <laughs> so it may be somewhere there. If I zoom out a little bit. Ah, okay. And the migration is also progressing. Yes. Maybe I will even go with... Uh, the, and this is, for example, fantastic. This will basically make the penalty for researching only 150%, which is like really small compared to what you would expect. Great trail. Manpower. Well, like we don't even have manpower to build up that army, that huge army. Are we even making like a gold coin? No, not yet. Ceremonial fire pit, storehouse for defeat house. What should I build? I guess the production efficiency may be a nice idea. Diplomatic reputation. I think I will go with the sweat lodge. Yeah, this will help with Pima as well. We are working on them already. They have the native council. I think I had it. I should have it as well, but I just have a chief instead. Improvements in production technology. Oh, again? It's one. It's half percent and everything is super cheap. I don't think this has any effect on anything. And this will not increase it. So I will take 50 more admin power. It's great. Yes. You are speeding up. And then I think I will go with migration cooldown. So we can migrate faster. 
Like it, it, it increases your stuff, like uh, the powers, all of them by certain amount. Getting there. So we are building the sweat lodge, <laughs> flying in lightning speed. And he can't really do anything. Okay, he's still my arrival. He arrived me like right off the bat. Huh, another building. Okay, like we are not making any money. We spend them every time. Uh, let's force it. Maybe no. I think. I will go with... Uh, we don't have really all that much military power. Palisade? If he attacks, like, I'm screwed anyway. <laughs> Goods produced. We only have fish, which are, like, poor anyway. Yeah. Uh, I think I will save my money. And actually, I will build up my army. Huh. Will this help? Yeah, let's build... A horse. They have none. Mm -hmm. No, let's build this. So we are at our limit. Wave of the obscurism. Obscurantism. Wow, that's not good. Or I can lose this prestige. Hmm. It's for two years only. I think I can take the hit. It's only... What's the rebel chance? The rebel risk? I don't think there is any. Yeah, it's only one because of totem totemism, so it's really not, no different. Let's combine this. I'm making slightly less money. Oh, I'm spending on the army the whole time. I could have like one or f two gold coins more. Uh, the difference, I feel like if I drop it, and they will attack right off the bat, so I can't do it. Point eight. <laughs> so, hmm. What else? What else? The mission. Improve our prestige is the only mission we really have. And it's a really hard mission. I will wait. I will not select this one. What are they playing for? Four years, guys. But as I said, I will wait for migration or... I don't, I don't know how many times I will migrate, actually. Hmm, Dakota? I may migrate quite far. I can either, either go for migration or for the clan migration, which is... I'm not sure why this is called this way, but this will enable you to colonize instead. Maybe moving out of this is a good idea. I think I will go for it, yeah, just to show you guys how it works. So I will grab it. And then I think I will migrate even once more. And you'll see what's down there. And we don't have any conquistadors or... Okay, we've re reached this. He returned. So, you guys, you are still rivals. And the improved relations worked really well with them, actually. Like, you can create your federation. I, I can try and ask them to join, but because we are rivals, I can't really show you this mechanic right now. Invite to federation. See, has a rivalry attitude. Otherwise, I think they would go for it. Yeah. We need one more positive than negative reasons for an acceptance. And the leader of the federation is chosen basically by his strength. So, yeah. But the migration will actually give me more admin power and military power inst like, instead of this. So, let's try this, guys. I'm not sure if it doesn't like a waste now, though. As you can see, I am uh, more than quarter away. I'm not sure if the, like this resets again. I may as well just wait it out. Hmm. It's half. It's like wasting... Nice chunk of our diplomatic power. Diplomatic reputation, veterations over time, colonists. That's what we really need. Yeah, we will not lose migration right now. I can... Uh, ah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. See, it only filled it up. But the next one will be shorter as well. So, yeah. 
and we can migrate right off the bat. So, as you can see, you can go into Dakota and you'll gain 50 admin, 50 diplomatic and 50 military power for migrating. It's like the Indians, basically they moved from place to place, right? And they gained more resources due to that, so I will do it. I will migrate, it's like instant. And you have this nice thingy, which is, I think, actually poorer than the last one, so <laughs> I've lost some money. How is Minnesota? It's even worse. <laughs> so this wasn't actually the best idea, but well, we migrated, and I think this is a good time to end this first episode as the Apache. At least now we are on the river, and that's very really important. Actually, two rivers. Fantastic for the Indians. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, bye-bye.